Welcome to the Soul Brick channel. So we have this vacant lot in Soul Town, and since this town layout is just starting, it would be a good idea to supply the citizens with some sort of safety in their lives. And that's where the new fire station comes in handy. Let's have a look at what I came up with. This is a design by me, a so-called mock, my own creation. But with that said, the inspiration for it comes from the classic yellow fire station set 374 from 1978. My mock is, well, it's yellow, but a lighter color. And it also has a tower where the fire hoses can hang and dry. If we take a look at the bottom floor, we have these large red garage doors. They are inspired by the design from set 75827 Firehouse Headquarters from 2016. Yeah, it's the Ghostbusters headquarters. I've added this hatch so that the fire station's pet dog can get in and out uh, like a cat. I'll open the doors later, don't you worry, stay tuned. Turn this around and here's the main entrance. They have a mailbox that opens like so. And they have a fire alarm box thingy, a ventilation unit and a sign and a fire alarm. Standard stuff for your fire station. The other side will face the outdoor staircase and I've left it a bit open just to let some more light in when filming. Looks kind of fun though and I like adding profile bricks to make buildings look more lived in. Let's open the door in the door. Oh, that's rather lovely. And the hatch for the dog opens like so. Both doors open this way. Plenty of room for a smaller fire truck. The base of the building is on one of those new road plates crosswalks. Quite handy. Not much going on in the garage because I don't want the fire truck to get stuck in random stuff. So there's just two axes in this tool rack. Alright, make sure to like and subscribe because now we'll have a look at the second floor. On the outside, this might look like two floors, but it's actually just one. I borrowed the design for the windows from set 310, 97, Townhouse, Pet Shop and Cafe from 2019. I think they add a bit of class to the house, makes it rather posh, mind you. I kept the other side quite plain, and the reasoning for that is that there's going to be a building in front of it. I'm going to show you the inside, but first I'd like to show you a play feature. There's a fire that pops up like so. Anyone for grilled uh, bird? Tastes just like chicken. Okay, the interior is quite crowded. This area is for dispatch, so that's the office space. The rest of the room is more for recreation. A small kitchen with a fridge freezer, stove and the oven and a sink. Mayday, mayday, we are sinking. And then a cozy sofa. Looks like the fire chief spilled some hot coffee right in her face. Sad, so sad. What a waste of coffee. And as you all can see, they can shoot some hoops. Always good to keep the firefighters in shape. In the corner they can take a nap on this comfortable bed. The ladder in here is an homage to the ladder that was on the side of set 374. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We do not need no water. Let the motherfucker burn. But let's put that away. They have a small garden next to the little antenna. The tower has a clock so you know what time it is. Yeah, it's time to pop this in its place in the layout. Would you have a look at that? I really think this adds a lot to the town. Um, especially since we only had the scrapyard and the tram bridge here before. Overall, I want to work more with typical colors that we find in Swedish small towns. And yellow is one of those colors. And don't forget the doggy. Oh, there's even a turtle on the doggy. A ninja turtle. The golden rooster, or golden cock as it is also known, looks very lovely, erected on the top like that. With that said, stay out of the nonsense, stay awesome, please subscribe, and watch out for the fire! Please don't burn me in the fire! I am not a barbecue!